Okay, so I'm just going to give you a, um, a quick little overview of the process I'm using to go through the um, the official uh, Tableau uh, prep uh, op demonstration, basically. So these are the files that they give you. Um, if you go to that URL, you'll find the, the same bunch of uh, spreadsheets. So here, I'm just going to show you um, what each of the files look like inside and as you can see from the title they're um, ABA bestsellers so we can we know they're about books and here I am just demonstrating how the sheets of the different files sometimes they're categories and sometimes they're dates like here we had the weeks and uh, inside we've got lots of different information so we got you know rankings and titles and all that sort of stuff so here I go into Tableau prep and I uh, connect to a file so we jump straight in and get the first uh, file, which is the January file. And it doesn't matter which sheet you drag in, um, because we're going to use a wild wildcard union. And at first, we're going to explore how each of these files are different. So we're going to bring in every single sheet from every single file. OK, and remember to hit that Apply button for it to work. And then we add the step to have a quick look. OK, so I'm not going too slowly while I'm doing this. I'm just sort of trying to get it done as quickly as possible. So the first step is taking a look around. Um, at the very end, we didn't quite see it just there, but there's a, a column added for sheet name and file name. And here I'm going to pivot it. OK, so I want to see what are the different columns in each of the different files and sheets. Okay, so I'm pulling out the file paths, the table names, which is actually the sheet names, and then that's so that's unpivoting it. Okay, and we're excluding any blank cells because they have no information. And then I'm going to add a little, another little aggregation step afterwards here, and this is just removing the duplication. So I'm seeing the distinct columns for every um, every file. So doing this aggregation allows me on this next step here to click and to see what sheets and what sort of columns are present uh, within each file. So we can see here that February has got a different uh, structure uh, to January, but within February is all the same. And then within March, again, it's the same. So you can see that we're going to have to do this in three different stages. So processing the January, February, and March separately. So we go ahead and delete that step. That was just like an exploratory step. OK. And so looking in, there's a little little trick I use, and that's to make some more space on the canvas. I have a just a, a single sheet being imported, and I drag it to the far left, top left, and uh, bottom right corners of the canvas. And that just gives me a bit more space to play around in. And there we go. So we're bringing in, uh, we're going to start with March. And I, I pick March because March is actually the easiest. And um, it'll, oh, yeah, bear with me while I type three. Yep, enter. Leaving it blank at the bottom. Yep. OK, so we brought in all of March's. And now let's take a look at the data and how it, how it um, is structured. So we can see we've got this ranking column applying across to all the different uh, categories and bits of information. So what we're going to do now is we're going to unpivot again. Very similar to what we did before. We want to unpivot everything except for file and table names and also rank because the rank column applies across all the other columns. Okay, let's just exclude any blank cells once again. And let's take a look here. Okie dokie. So we can see straight away that we've gotten ourselves our category column. So we may as well go ahead and rename that. Um, we've got this whole bunch of information in this one one column here. So we're going to split that out. And it's pipe delimited, which is the, um, the key above your enter key. So we're splitting all those out separately. We can see here we've got title. Next one looks like author. The next one looks like price. Yep, that's how we type it. And then we've got ISBN. And these columns are actually not named. So when we look at them, we can tell it's uh, previous rank and, um, and weeks on the list. 
Okay, and we actually determined that from the other the other worksheets, not the uh, not the March file, and also we no longer need that one column that contained all those separate bits, and we're renaming the sheet to the week because that's the week of that rankings release, and um, we're removing all these blank cells which are just uh, you know, two quotation marks, they're not officially null, so we're just correcting that. And we can't have a zero rank, so we're going to remove that as well, add that to the nulls. And to me, that looks like it is all done. We no longer need that step because that was just like a visual step that we used to, um, to look at the data. So we're going to go ahead now and we're going to operate on February. So wildcard, we go down, we're going to make a little... Um, uh, filter, if you will, for only February's uh, workbooks, Excel files, and we want all sheets from all those workbooks. So we put apply here. Let's take a look at the data. And there we can see we've got rank and we've got two information columns. One's info, one is um, information. And we can see also the sheets were the category. And then the trick here, we're going to merge these two columns together and they actually complement each other well. So the one we drag it onto keeps its title and also any information in those cells supersedes the information of the cells being dragged on. Okay, once again, splitting it by the pipe. And this one splits quite nicely. So we've got a uh, title, it looks like. This is author price, however, there is a catch. So you see here, sometimes the ISBN comes through as well for certain uh, books. We don't know. It might be a sheet or it might be a file where that's happening. Uh, ISBN. And then we no longer need that, that collection of, of columns. So we're also going to split this one easily last week and weeks on list. So split it by a dash. Keep everyone. And yep, there we go, just uh, renaming these ones. Yep, and once again, renaming. Okay, and um, if we go all the way across again, we remove that source of those two columns. We don't want to have duplication. Um, yeah, what else do we do here? Okay, let's tackle that ISBN, it looks like. So we want to split out the ISBN, but notice when we do a custom split and the delimiter is a comma, uh, if there's no comma present, it's just going to give us the full cell. So that's something to be aware of. So what we need to do here is we need to edit that, that calculated column formula. So we're going to go over here to the, the history of all the steps we've taken, and this last step, we're going to edit it. So we're going to make it conditional on the detection of a comma inside the cell. So I go make sure it contains a, a comma, and then I'm confused about which uh, order it goes in, but luckily I get it right when I guess it. Okay, so if it contains, then do that operation. If it doesn't contain, then give me a null, which is the same thing as just typing end. Okay, the false results will be a null. And as you can see, it's worked fine. And it's uh, it's also complementary. So the nulls of one column will not have nulls in the other column. But this had a space here. And so if we had just merged them together like that, then um, the spaces would have superseded the ISBNs we were bringing in because a space is not a null, so that's a key thing to remember. That's why we changed the space to a null. Okay, I think it's happy. We just want to do the author price. We want to pull that out, and in this case here, we want everything before a comma, and whether a comma is present or not. So that's, in this case, the, the way that Tableau Prep works is beneficial to us, and then we no longer need that col column. Going across, we can split it now, by the luckily, by the dollar sign which is present in every single instance. So yeah, many of these splits are quite fortuitous that they split quite nicely. Okay, so there we go. We got author and then we got price. And any nulls would have come to the top and we would have been able to see them. So 
there wasn't any nulls, so it split very nicely. And then we no longer need that source. And looking across, that's all looking pretty good. Once again, blank cells we want to replace with nulls. And that's looking great. I think we've got to extract the weak out of the file name. So we're going to do that. Uh, we want the last, so we're splitting by the space. And then we take away the x.xlsx. And here we do a trick where we override. I think we did that just before. So split by the dot. And then down below, we can update that formula to override the the column inside the calculation. And just be sure to take away those, those square brackets. Okay, and there, so that's, we saved ourselves having to remove that another column by just overriding it. Um, yeah, that's looking great. What are we doing here? We're splitting out, we don't need that ISBN uh, colon. We don't need that in there. So we're gonna tidy up. And once again, we're going to do that same trick where we just override this existing column Take it out. Cool. Done. Very nice. All right. I think that one is looking good. I think it's now time to move on to January. Um, I think January was the most difficult. So let's uh, let's take a look. Here we go. There's only one file in January, but there is multiple sheets, so we still need to do the wildcard union. Uh, yep. And each sheet here is the week, which is interesting. Uh, it's also it's plonked the um, that that uh, icon up to the top left. So that's something that happens. That's something you got to be aware of when you're using those things to space out your canvas, as I do. Okay, and how do we handle it? So this one here, uh, we take a look first, which is smart, and we can see that there is a whole lot of columns for each different category. So each bit of information has its own column and done by category, so heaps of columns. Okay, so we're going to unpivot all these. and We're going to pull out the file path and the uh, sheet name, which is table names, and we're also going to pull out the rank. Okay, and then we take, oh no, we remove those blank cells, and then we take a look. Okay, and so that's that's worked nicely. And we can see those columns. We need to split it because they've got the category and the data type all together. And luckily they're separated by a dash. And luckily they split quite neatly. So there's yep, very neat. Very neat. So we no longer need that source of those two columns. We can rename this category. And then we've got to take that that column there and we need to pivot it. So not unpivot, but actually pivot. So we're turning a column uh, turning a row into a column, I think. Yes. <laughs> uh, yep. So that's the that's the column we want to turn into different columns. Uh, the reason why that error pops up is because there is a rank in there. Uh, you can investigate that on your, on your own, but there is actually one category which includes the rank. And so it's a duplication of the overarching rank. Okay. But there we go. We've, we've split that column out into different that single column into multiple columns, and it, it actually split quite quite nicely. Um, yeah, so I think that's us done. That's us processing uh, January, February, and March. And we're just going to go ahead and save the um, the uh, flow. Fantastic.